Today, we're going to be making Swedish meatballs from PewDiePie. Wow. First, you're going to boil water because we're going to make some potatoes for on the side. Now, for the meatballs, you're going to take a pan and melt some butter in the pan. Once the butter is about melted, you're going to put in your onions. We have one half onion and make sure to chop them really fine because we want the flavor in the meatballs. We don't really want the onions in it. All we want is just the flavor. What we're trying to do here is just really get a color on the onions. That's all we really want. Onions are now done. They look a little translucent, they're soft, and they're starting to brown. So we're gonna take it off the heat, and we're gonna put it into a bowl. We're gonna put the meat in with the onions. So we're gonna put the meat we have two pounds of meat right here. You can use as much meat as you want for this recipe. We're gonna add some pepper, and we're gonna add some salt, and then we're gonna add some cream, only a little bit, and we're gonna add the breadcrumbs. If it's too dry, add more cream. If it's too moist, add more breadcrumbs. Make sure you wash your hands really well because we're gonna be using our hands. We're gonna mix it all together. Make sure you get it all in. Okay, now it's all mixed together, we are going to form the meatballs with our hands. So, take a good amount of what you want your meatballs to look like, and then you just roll it into a ball. Make sure it's nice and even. Roll it into a ball. This should be good. So now I'm gonna place it all on a plate, get it ready for the stove. Now, for the potatoes, we're gonna first salt the water. That should be about good. And then, all you're gonna do is literally just take your potatoes and put them in your water. We're gonna cook the meatballs. Make sure you do it in the same pan because it's that flavor that's still in there that you cannot buy. It's the flavor that you cannot get anywhere else besides what you make. So, we're gonna put a few meatballs in. Now the meatballs look done. So we're gonna take them and put them on a clean plate. And be careful, it does Flush a lot. Like, be very careful. Like, super dangerous. Super dangerous. Ah, uh, see what I mean? Be careful. Last but not least, we got the sauce. We got some soy sauce. Put a little bit of that in. And then we're gonna put in some cream. Whoa, that came out fast. 
And don't forget to turn on the heat. I think it needs a little more because I think cream came out fast. I think that's good. Mix it all together until it comes to a low boil. Now, we have to plate this. So we got some potatoes. That is kind of like our side dish. And we have some meatballs. You can do like five meatballs per person. If you have seconds, they can come get seconds if they want. And we have some sauce. I wonder how this is going to turn out. I guess you drizzle a little on. the salt we have we're just gonna balance it out with a little bit of sweetness from this homemade strawberry jam now every chef must taste their food let's see how this tastes It actually tastes good. That's surprisingly good. I did not know it would be like that. Ugh. That's kind of nice. It's pretty good. It's hard to get the jam on there, so. Mmm. Yeah, the jam does balance it out. I do notice that. And for the potatoes, Let's taste it. Man, it's just potatoes. They're all right, but the meatballs, they're, they're really good. Way better, 100% better than the potatoes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned how to make Swedish meatballs. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!